Hi, I'm Rebecca Powers with Sterling Lancaster Community Television. I'm here at Animal Shelter, Inc. in Sterling. Melissa Snitzer, the shelter manager, is away. So for this episode, we'll be showing a clip from a previous episode of Podoption. This is Perla. She's four months old. She'll stay fairly small. She's a terrier chihuahua mix. She's outgoing and she would do very well with kids. This is Hachi. He's a terrier mix, four months old. He would be best with older kids, if any. Um, he's very mature and reserved for his age. This is Ava. She's four months old, a lab mix. She's very playful and energetic. She would be great with kids or on hikes. She loves toys. This is Frankie. He's five months old, a lab mix. He's a bit shy. He likes toys and he's very gentle.
This is Nadia, a shepherd mix. She's 10 weeks old. She's calm. She's very friendly. She loves to give kisses. All right, Melissa, the weather is cold. What can we do for our pets to keep them warm? Yeah, there are um, sub-zero temperatures coming up, and if you have a pet, you definitely want to take measures to keep them nice and toasty. Um, if you have pets that go outside or stay outside, uh, you definitely want to bring them inside anytime really below uh, 32 degrees when it's going to be freezing. Um, they are prone to frostbite, just like people are, so... If you think that the weather is too cold for you, it's probably too cold for your pets also. Uh, the one thing about cold weather, and especially a dog, is that they can get kind of stir crazy if you're staying inside a lot. So you do want to continue doing your walks with your dog, but just limit the time so that uh, they don't get too cold. Also think about their paws when you're walking. Um, you can get boots for them, little dog boots, if you feel like you want to go for a longer walk um, and that they can tolerate that if they have maybe a heavy coat of fur or if you buy them a special dog coat or sweater. So you can do the boots to do that. Um, also, if you live in a city area or a city or a area with sidewalks where the city or town salts, be very careful about you letting your dog walk on the salt. Some of it is not pet safe. So you want to either use boots or stay off of those areas. Your pet can come home and lick their paws and then get some of those chemicals into their system um, and those are toxic to your pet. So if you have dogs, it's also a good idea to think about using pet safe ice melt um, if you need to use it at your own home uh, on your driveway or walkway. Um, also, there is a situation where there are a lot of cats who live outside. Um, there's stray cats or feral cats, and some people care for them. If you have a cat that you can't necessarily bring inside but that hangs around your house, there are a few things you can do to help keep them safe during the very cold weather also. Um, you can buy one of those big plastic bins that has a top, like a storage bin, and cut a hole in the side and stuff it full of straw. Um, and then the cat will have a place where they can go to stay a little bit warmer and you can put a uh, heated water bowl in there also. Um, if you, the way, the reason we recommend using straw is because it holds the heat and the air better than if you use a towel or a blanket. Um, the towels and blankets can get wet and then get freezing. Um, so straw is the best thing to use if you want to try to keep some outdoor cats warm this winter too. And then just a note too, if you have horses, uh, they generally stay outside during the winter or um, even going into a barn, it's still cold. So uh, horse blankets are a great way to help keep them warm throughout this weather. And always make sure that your pets have access to fresh water, that will help them too. <laughs> 